If you haven't experienced the devastation firsthand, it's impossible to comprehend the scale of the suffering of the people of Haiti. This doesn't mean that we cannot or shouldn't feel compassion with their plight. And the gift of the givers sent a team to the island to assist the survivors. Major earthquakes are a relative rarity in South Africa. But Haiti felt the full force of a magnitude 7 seismic event. And the catastrophic force unleashed by this unstoppable natural phenomenon raised much of the capital city to the ground. This was the most severe earthquake experienced by the country in more than two centuries. And Haitians looked to the world for help. The January 12 earthquake that hit Haiti left as many as 230,000 injured, 300,000 casualties and over 1 million homeless. Immediately rescue efforts were underway and the first team to respond from South Africa was the gift of the givers. With me is Imtia Suleiman who is the chairperson and founder of the gift of the givers. Good day Dr. Suleiman, welcome to Eastern Mosaic. What was your organization's first response to Haiti's plight? We tried to assess how big the damage was and the magnitude of what was required. And within 20 minutes of getting the call at 10 past 6 in the morning on Wednesday the 13th of January, we realized that this was one of the biggest devastations in human history. And in that 20 minutes we decided to respond and to make sure that teams would go in to assist. Who are the Gift of the Givers? Gift of the Givers is a humanitarian organization. It was formed on the 6th of August, 1992, on a Thursday night. We met a spiritual teacher who looked and said, it looks like you're a person that likes to help human beings. I instruct you to form an organization. The name will be Gift of the Givers. You will serve mankind unconditionally. You will not look at race, color, religion, politics, class or country, you will help everybody unconditionally and expect nothing in return. And this is the mission for you for the rest of your life. What overall relief did you give to Haiti? It was in phases. The first phase was to set in a search and rescue team. And that first search and rescue team, you know, supported by the second one that followed a few days later, did a magnificent job. We managed to pull a survivor out of the rubble seven days after the event. And also several hundred corpses were recovered, so there's closure for families. The first two teams also set up, you know, a hospital where procedures were done. Actually, the, the paramedic members of the first team took a cathedral, cleaned it thoroughly, got onto their knees, washed the floors, washed the walls, and set up a whole hospital facility. And thereafter, they aided Mexican doctors in doing amputations, which was very, very hard for them to see this happening to small children. And the sad thing was, when the child was asked, now you can go back home, the child asked, what home? There is no home. And, we, and, and, and the child would ask, go back to your parents. And the child would say, I have no parents. It was heartbreaking to the, to the extent that, you know, my, my teams broke down. The second response was to send in medical teams. The second search and rescue team had four medical personnel with them. They started supporting the paramedics of the first team. And eventually the third and the fourth teams followed later. These were highly trained medical specialists. And together, they worked with American and French teams at the Seven Day Adventist Hospital. And opposite that, they put up a primary healthcare clinic where virtually between the two facilities, thousands of patients were seen. One comment on the South African doctors, they can work in any situation, they can make things happen. They may not have the right equipment, they may not have the right items required for the process itself, but they made things work. And because of that, the American doctors gave them the name, the Dream Team because they made anything possible. What will need to happen to rebuild Haiti? Haiti needs total reconstruction, you know. If you look at the good side of this destruction, although there can be no good side, is that the country can be rebuilt better than ever before. This country has suffered for many years. It has four, had four hurricanes in the last year or two. That it has had political turmoil. And the problem with the construction is that the development is so poor, like the lady who I'm talking to on the other side said, our buildings collapsed because the cement was hand mixed. We didn't have proper machines to build the right type of blocks. That's why so many buildings were destroyed. So now there's an opportunity to rebuild the country according to international standards in terms of the homes, the hospitals, the schools, the orphanages, the churches, the creches, whatever, and make the country far more productive than it has ever been 
done before. How as we ordinary South Africans, how can we help? Prayer is very important. It's a start. Nobody can say they can't afford to give prayer. From a physical point of view, they need items. They need a lot of items. They need to rebuild their whole lives. As the teams have said, the smile has been gone from the faces of the children and adults in Haiti. There is no smile because of the extent of the damage and the extent of loss of life. So let's try to put a little smile back. They require tents for shelter, they require medical supplies, they require medical equipment, they need food to eat, and 1.5 million people are dependent on handouts of food every day. They require water, and for the children, we can send in soft toys and stationery and something to get them active, to keep their minds busy. And in time, we may look at sending in more medical teams, even counselors, to assess the population. An additional thing we're looking at is also maybe concrete machines to make sure they have better concrete mixing this time to have better bricks and also a supply of corrugated sheeting so they can use that for their roofs and for their homes. So these are the things the South African public can look at supporting. We will be sending a supplies by ship. We're already earmarking 500 tons of supplies to go across. And if people want, you know, we can give contact details how to get it, to do that. Thank you very much, Dr. Suleiman, for joining us on Eastern Mosaic. It's a pleasure. Over the last decade, the amount of disasters have increased worldwide. And thanks to organizations such as the Gift of the Givers, one cannot even begin to imagine the hopelessness and despair that a country such as Haiti would have had to face. <laughs>